Hey, what's up? I uh, won't take too long doing this. I apologize for shaking you around, but I thought I'd start this one off by uh, showing you the last, what I should have showed you in the last few seconds of the last one, when I did the bottom of this fender on this dart here. I apologize for shaking you around, damn. Um, but anyways, there it is, it's done. Um, I don't know how well that shows up. You can see where my weld line is down there from being butt welded. You can see that the gap is, it's fat, but it's even. And as I said before, there is room to, to move the fender back. The only thing that's odd that I've seen on a few of these that I've done is that very upper line right, uh, the fender's down a little bit from the door. Um, the only way that you'd be able to fix that would be to maybe take a big slice into that fender and pick it up and then fill that gap in and weld it up. Because if you try to move this up to here, which is, it's about that far. I'm going to say it's not three sixteenths, whatever. But you can't pick that up because if you pick that up, you see that body line there? And that body line there, and that body line up there, they all go up with it. So you can't just magically doink that up, because then what do you do there? How do you get those down? So anyways, <clears throat> you have to pardon me, I just poured some water down, the, down my air hole and that's not good. Um, that's it though, I just wanted to show you that and uh, we'll get on to something different here in just a sec. Okay, here we are, same but different. You probably, I don't know if you can see my ugly mug. It's probably up here on the screen. That's fine, because I got a face for radio. Radio. So what we got here, left fender. Dirt, fender, left. Um, this particular fender, I don't know how well this shows up. It took a pretty good poke right up the chunk. Um, upward, like this. <coughs> Pretty lumpy and bumpy. Uh, that's due to somebody else fixing it. Um, not nice. So when, when it gets hit here, such as this one did and shoved this way, when you move it, the metal's gotta go somewhere. <coughs> the whole thing can't come up. So what happens is it comes out. You hit it this way, it mushrooms, and, and it comes up. So right here, the metal came out, is what I'm trying to say. So what we have is a big bump, a fairly flat fender with a big bump. There's actually a couple of big bumps in here. Um, you can't just smash them down. So what we gotta do here is what's commonly known as shrinkage. I'm gonna shrink some steel here, and uh, I don't think there's much for undercoating on the inside here to smoke them up. There might be a little smoke out of it. But anyways, that's that's what you gotta do is you gotta um, probably needs a couple of down here uh, by feeling it, probably one here. When you're shrinking something, if you're ever gonna shrink something, you kinda go for your highest point. <clears throat> and you decide if it's a small peak, then you use a little tiny little shrink. If if you've got a great big hump, well then you want a larger shrink, but maybe not as bright or red a shrink. Maybe that doesn't make any sense to anybody. I don't know because maybe you don't do this. Anyways, I got stuff here. One of these here. I got a, there's a poker. Bear with me for a sec here. That's right. Keep your flame in some smoke usually. Get yourself one of those. Again. Kind of figure out where you're just thinking. I'm thinking probably about here. So you heat it up in a circular motion. You'll see it get red. You don't want it to get too red. And then you take your hammer. And while it's still hot, you'll take some air. I'm sure you couldn't see that move, 
but from where I am, I watched it move. Now the, the whole idea behind shrinking it is uh, when you heat it up, the metal swells and the particles, the, 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 the whatever, the, the, the bits, the ions, the, the metal, uh, it, it, it kind of spreads apart, if that makes any sense to you. And then so while it's hot and expanded, you take your smasher and you smash it around and you try to take that hot expanded metal and kind of shove it into the center. And then you hit the center a few times. And then when you shrink it, the whole issue comes down again. And every time, I guarantee you, it will come down further than it was up in the first time. So what I got here now is I kind of got a little bit of a knuckle here because of them smashing it. Um, but it did go down quite a bit here. So I think I'm going to give another little one just behind that. Right, cha. Ooh, you hear that? Just a little guy. Sometimes the quicker you cool it, the more it shrinks. Let's talk more work, right? Yeah, who cares? A lot of guys use water to do this. I don't like. Then it gets everything all wet. From your angle, you might be able to see that this, it's developed a low spot here now, but that'll come up from the inside easy. Um, but for the most part, let me put one more little guy right there. As long as I got you here, <clears throat> we've got the same kind of situation down here. Again, got hit this way. You can see all these little shadows and divots and stuff. That's from somebody beating the holy piss out of this thing with the steel toad work boot, or I don't know what they use. I don't know. A lot of times people work on stuff and they shouldn't know how to work on stuff. Can you hear me? All right. We got it. Pulled it in quite a bit. 
I think I want one more little guy. There's a pretty good high spot right there. That's the old pork and beef. <clears throat> like I said, I don't know if you can see it in the light. There is a pretty good low spot here now. But as I said, when I come in from the inside, it's easier to pick that up. Um, metal, or metal stretch is easier than it shrinks. You gotta use some heat. Quit burning that off. I'm gonna light a fire. You gotta use some heat to shrink it, but to stretch it, you can just give her one and it'll stretch. So, uh, yeah, I guess that was, there's really no point in you listening to me with hammers and dolly beating the bejesus out of everything. Um, so I think that'll probably uh, end our little explanation, our little demonstration of shrinking metal. I hope that was a lot of fun for you. I'll bet it wasn't. Eh, whatever, 10 minutes. I thought I'd shake you around for a sec and bring you back uh, just just for a brief moment because uh, I think this is noteworthy. I should have used this fender for the last fender on rebuilding the fender bottom, inner brace, outer patchwork. <laughs> and this was on a car because uh, this here, that's roofing tar that somebody smeared on the inside of it to keep it from rusting any further. Nice work, boys. Cheers.